Hi, Martin here. Today I want to conduct a little experiment. I got three alternators here, a 250, a 160, and a 136 amp alternator. Uh, all meant for the 4.7 liter and 3.7 liter Chrysler Jeep Dodge engines. Now, my uh, 04 Jeep comes with the 136 and ever since I put the electric fan in and I throw on some accessories, I at idle I end up below a desirable voltage. You know, I'm I'm into the 12s, sometimes even the 11s, way too low. So, what I want to find out is going head to head at idle which alternator actually does perform better than the other one. Um, and we're going to change out pulley sizes. We're going to use the stock 57s on the 136 and 160. The 250 actually comes with a 55 millimeter and then we're going to try the 49 on all three of them and see how that affects the voltage as well. Alright, let's get started. I'm going to start with the 136 amp alternator. That's the factory one on this 4.7 with the uh, stock pulley on there. We'll take readings and then we'll try this 49 millimeter and see what we come up with there. Just so you know, this I got an ATI super damper on here with a 25% underdrive pulley. And of course, that's slowing everything down 25%, including the alternator. And that's why I got a lower than desired voltage at idle especially when I throw all the accessories on which you're about to see. All right let me get this fired up and get it up to normal operating temperature and I'll show you the readings. Stock alternator with stock pulley size Here's our voltage right here, engine temp, RPM down here at the corner. Right there you saw that dive, look at how we're way down there. Now let's say I kick on the heated seats. And we'll turn on the headlights as well. And now the air conditioning. Wow, that's that's not good. Okay, you saw we dipped clear into the 11s, uh, that's totally unacceptable. So we'll change out the pulley and see what happens. Now on these Chrysler alternators, I've had this happen before, they don't just change out nice and easy. So I got myself this pulley puller here, nice and heavy duty, this thing works awesome. You hear that? Doggone uh, blend doors. it off like it was nothing. Just checking to make sure the belt is on properly. And then another thing to keep in mind, going to a smaller pulley may require you to go to a 
shorter belt as well. Uh, this is going to get me by for right now. All right, let's try this out. Okay, we're at normal operating temperature. Voltage is 13.5 right in there. Jumping around between 13.3 and 13.7. Okay, I'm going to kick on the fan. Now the AC. Start dipping into the 12s. And now the heated seats and the lights. Touch the throttle at all. All right, let's try the 160 amp. Okay, I'm going to remove the 136. I'm going to throw in the 160 amp. We'll see what happens there. Start with the stock pulley, then we'll try the 49. Man, that alternator was hot. Teach me to wear gloves. With that installed, let's give this 160 amp one a try. That's with the cooling fan on. Now comes with the AC. Maybe a slight drop. And now the heated seats. And lights. bringing the RPM up that would be normal voltage right there but this the ECM is going to tell it to put out it's between 13.3 and 13.8 all right let's give the uh, Put the smaller pulley on see if that what that does for us so the low side we're talking right at 12 volts with a 160 amp oh 11.9 maybe <laughs> Okay, smaller pulley installed. 160 amp alternator with the small pulley. Running at normal voltage. I'm gonna start kicking some stuff on. Here is the cooling fan for the radiator. Now 
now the AC compressor heated seats still doing pretty good and now the lights at least with the 160 and the small pulley we're staying in the 13s yeah I'm just gonna start turning some stuff off here and see with all that off what do we gain another three tenths four tenths so the 160 in the small pulley does quite well. Now with the engine up to temperature, with the 250 amp alternator, and the stock pulley provided, you can see we're about 13.5, 13.6. Now I'm gonna start kicking on some accessories like the cooling fan and you saw a little dive there I pulled it down a few tenths there's the heated seats headlights And as you can see, we're right at 12 volts now. All right, now let's put on the smaller pulley. Okay, I got the 49 millimeter pulley. We'll put that on and see what that does for us. All right, here's the voltage right here. We're at idle, pretty much everything is off on the vehicle. And, I mean, that's acceptable. Now I'm gonna start turning stuff on. Okay, here goes the headlights. I'm gonna turn the electric fan on for the radiator. There you saw a drop right there. Still not horrible. Okay, I'm gonna kick on the AC. And now the heated seats. And see now we're starting to come down where we're hitting in the 12s. And this is with the 250 amp alternator with the smaller pulley. Right there, I kicked the fan into high. I forced it to go up to high speed. Now, that's unacceptable. I mean, 12.5. That is uh, a little too low right there. Okay, as far as the results go, 
It actually looks like the 160 with the small pulley is the winner here. Um, I've been driving it around for a few days and I'm actually seeing, you know, voltage in the 14, 14.1 range when I'm driving. So I really never got that with the 250 and the small pulley and definitely not with the 55 that it comes with. Um, you see, even the high performance alternator, they already put a smaller pulley on it knowing that at idle they do not perform as well, let's say, as that 160 would. These things are like if you stuck a big cam in your engine. You're going to lose some bottom end, but you're going to gain it on the top. And that's where these would come in. No doubt, this will outperform as far as if you needed the load. If you needed 250 amps or somewhere thereabouts, this is going to outperform a 160. But at idle, it's a different story. And that's where my problem comes in. 160 is more than enough to run everything on this vehicle. And I would have to say this is the winner. So this is the way to go. 160, 49 millimeter pulley, worked great. Now, um, another thing I wanted to note out was I actually started recording with the 250 alternator and then started with the 136 and 160. I just laid it out in order when it came to editing. And I actually did all the fan tests on high. Even though you see me on the 250, I click the uh, into high later and that's where you see the big voltage drop. But I did all the fan tests or all the alternator tests on high speed to where it had the biggest draw. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. And if you did, I'd sure appreciate the thumbs up. That helps out the channel immensely. And if you've never subscribed to me before, please hit that subscribe button right down there and that little bell symbol right next to it. And that way you get notifications of my upcoming videos. I'm also an Amazon affiliate and check the description down below where you'll find Amazon links to some of the products and tools that we used in the video. And you can do all your Amazon shopping right through one of those links. And that helps out the channel financially. Thanks again for watching and we will see you on the next one.